Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. I'm sure we are all absolutely shocked to learn that men did not approve of the ideal relationship for myself that I described yesterday, with men and women living apart, enjoying all the fabulous and supportive stuff in life together, but, you know, the woman just not doing all of the man's laundry and grocery shopping and all of the mental and, you know, uh, domestic labor and load. Men hate it. Older divorced women love it. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. This woman is a prime example of how ethanism has liberated men. But for men to fully realize this, they need to wake up. That's not easy, especially when you've been conditioned to seek female validation. Believe you can't live without women and essentially be a servant to them. The men who have awakened, who understand female nature, aren't offended by what she says because once you see it, you can't unsee it. And once you accept it, you'll be at peace. It is what it is. Now let's dive into the original video where she explains her view on relationships. Am I alone in this or do any other women in their 30s or maybe even like regardless of age range want the kind of relationship with a man that a woman in her 50s or 60s wants with a man like after they've had to live with a man for decades where she's like i don't want to live with him he stays in his place i stay in my place we go over to each other's houses for dinner and to watch a movie and like have an adult cuddle um we go out for dinner maybe once a week we pay for everything 50 50 we do our own laundry we have our own spaces we go on holiday together sometimes but sometimes i go on holiday by myself can we normalize having that kind of relationship in your 30s that's all i want i want to be a divorced woman who never ever ever lives with a man i've never been married never been divorced never intend to get married but i'd like to live like a 60 year old divorcee anybody else she basically outlining a recreational relationship split the cost 50 50 no marriage no kids no commitment it's all fun and games until the fun stops this is perfect for chad and now, some men commented on her post, and those comments triggered a lot of women. She made some response videos. Check this out. I'm sure we are all absolutely shocked to learn that men did not approve of the ideal relationship for myself that I described yesterday, with men and women living apart, enjoying all the fabulous and supportive stuff in life together, but, you know, the woman just not doing all of the man's laundry and grocery shopping and all of the mental and, you know, uh, domestic labor and load. Men hate it. Older divorced women love it. They're in the comments saying, you are wise beyond your years. I wish I had done this. Uh, I wish I'd figured this out earlier. Yes, this is the way. Older single women who have lived like this for years saying, love it, loved it, still love it. So all the men in my comments saying, you're gonna hate this when you're older. You're gonna regret it when you're older. I would really encourage you to click through and have a look at that comment section and start practicing listening to what women tell you about how they feel before you tell them how they feel you know this man's comment triggered many 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 women because they don't get it they're looking at it from a superficial emotional perspective which is exactly why they've been falling for the okie doke of ethanism with men and women living apart enjoying all the fabulous and supportive stuff in life together the fabulous and supportive stuff relationship model no domestic chores, separate homes, just fun and support when it's convenient. Sounds great on the surface, right? But here's the thing. The issue isn't that men want women to cook and clean. It's about the lack of a foundation. This is a recreational relationship, not something built for the long haul. Life isn't just about vacations and dinner dates. What happens when the hard times hit? But in reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> this is my reality. Wow, this video is really sad to me. I know a lot of people in the comments are going to say, oh, she deserves it. This is exactly what she gets. It's her poor decisions. And yes, while this is true, being a woman myself, I have empathy for her because I can clearly tell that she's hurting 
you can see it in her expressions you can see it in her face this is a woman who is getting a very harsh reality check and it's because there is a big life event there is something that she's going through she's going through a surgery and instead of her husband taking care of her it's going to be her mom and her sister and listen if this is a very big surgery there's a car seat in the back she obviously has a child right what happens when the hard times hit when she loses her job or she's stressed out Women today are burning out at higher rates than ever before. Burnout rates in women have risen from 38% to 42%. And it doesn't stop there. Depression in women is also extremely common. Women are twice as likely to develop clinical depression as men. In fact, up to one in four women are likely to experience an episode of depression at some point in life. So what happens then? She'll expect the man to step in and support her, right? But here's the kicker. When things get tough or boring for her, she can just bounce. We've seen that many, 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 many times. This is why modern marriage is a bad deal for men. Because if you don't feel in love, then who cares if he's the good guy? This is where the whole have your cake and eat it too dynamic comes into play. It's not just about avoiding chores, it's about avoiding commitment while still expecting the benefits of one. That's why this man's comment hit a nerve. He's pointing out that women want all the good parts of a relationship without the sacrifice or the responsibility that comes with it. Women might say men don't know what they're talking about when they say women will regret those choices later in life. But here's the truth. I don't give a shit if women regret their decisions later. Guys, what does a woman's regret do for you? Sure, we can have a laugh and say, I told you so. But at the end of the day, you should only add a woman to your life if she enhances it. Without a solid foundation, women are just chasing the highs without preparing for the lows. You want the perks without paying the price. But if you're not willing to sacrifice for others, don't expect anyone to sacrifice for you. That's the issue with this have your cake and eat it too mentality. It's all about avoiding commitment while still expecting the benefits of one. We'll dive deeper into the topic of sacrifice in the second installment of our Independence Day movie review this weekend. But let's get back to this woman. What she's talking about is unrealistic for most men and women in the long run. And in this next clip, she'll explain why. Well, I just think that's a good deal, Adam, because I'm currently paying 100% of the bills I pay, running 100% of the business I own, paying my employees 100% of their income. I do 100% of my own labor at home, domestic labor. So if I wasn't living with a man, I think it would be more than fair that we split holidays 50-50, lovely dinners out 50-50, because I wouldn't be doing his laundry and I wouldn't be cooking his dinners. I wouldn't be booking his appointments and running our social calendar. I wouldn't be doing all of the grocery shopping. I wouldn't be doing what the majority of women are doing, which is carrying the majority of the domestic and mental load at home. So I'd be more than happy to pay 50-50 for a lovely dinner. You see, she's okay with splitting the bill because of her circumstances and worldview. But that's not how most women operate. Effinism at its core comes from women who were privileged. Betty Friedan's problem that has no name came from boredom. Women who wanted more than being housewives. This could only happen in societies where women were comfortable enough to even complain about it. Effinists like her can only run their mouths because the world is built. Society is advanced and women can run non-physical labor businesses and press a few buttons on a washing machine while claiming housework is tough. <laughs> Domestic work today is a joke. According to research from Gender Roles in the Millennium, who pays and is expected to pay for romantic dates, men are still expected to not only pay for dates, but also initiate them. Janice, read. The researchers found that young men paid for all or most of the dates around 90% of the time, while women paid only about 2%, they split around 8% of the time. On subsequent dates, splitting the check was more common, though men still paid a majority of the time while women rarely did. 
Nearly 80% of men expected to pay on the first date, while just over half of women, 55%, expected men to pay. So this man's comment makes perfect sense when we look at the general dynamic of dating today. Female nature is hypergamous. Women in general aren't attracted to men who ask for 50-50 in relationships. And we've got many, 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 many videos on this channel with research backing that up. The soft guy era is another example of this foolishness. And if you're not aware, this is literally what women say. They're like, no, a man should be paying for my dinner because um, my skincare costs like $500. And I bought this dress to look good. So you should pay for it. That is their basis for why a man should provide and pay. Which again is utterly ridiculous. And literally, that is what women say on social media with a complete straight face. Here's another one. And more power to you, buddy. If that's the kind of relationship you want, you have my total blessings. What I was talking about doesn't have anything to do with you because I never would have picked you. Do you know what I mean? Like having this kind of strong emotional response to a relationship you were never like a contender or candidate for, it's emotional, you know, like it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, did you have a tough day? Um, I hope your mom answers when you give her a call. According to Pew, only half of single men are actively seeking relationships or even casual dates. Why? Why? Because women just aren't that interesting. I know a lot of women think they deserve the world, but many, 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 many young men would rather play video games than spend their time with women. And here's the kicker. When they do spend time with women, they're still expected to pay. Show me the money! Let's be blunt. It's comparable to prostitution. Just because a woman is willing to split the bill doesn't mean she's great company. I was getting the matches that I was looking for, but my dates wouldn't last past like the second date. I went on a blind date with someone and we had to do a post date interview and he called me out so hard. He was like, you're fine on a date, you're entertaining, but I didn't understand you as a human being. Like I didn't understand who you were. And I love that he called me out. And like she says in the clip, I never would have picked you. We all know most women go for the top 10, top 20% of men. Without substance, without commitment, without something to fight for, these women are for recreational use only. Now can I get a drizzle, drizzle? Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Man, it's where we work it. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.